in my house that's my air turning off uh how? when did you get here i have hardly any time to make actually i didn't make coffee i ran out of creamer today and i just simply that means i can't have coffee now hello welcome dudes hello welcome everyone to the stream my creaky chair hello welcome uh i just got back from walking to get my car which was on the street uh, and I have a parking ticket, so now I have to pay that. I'm a criminal. So that's how my day started. I watched the man drive away who gave it to me too, so I had just missed moving my car on time. That's the one thing that I keep forgetting and I really need to just set an alarm for, is the fact that I have to move my car twice a week from the places that I park it at. So, let's uh, pay my parking ticket today. And we're gonna watch a new cut episode. Because, or a new button episode. Cut released a new button episode, the dating show that we all love to watch together. And I will be uploading all my reactions to all of the episodes because I just think it's funny. Um, a new one came out four days ago and I didn't know until Cody Ko <laughs> uploaded a video of him reacting to it. And I didn't watch, now I can't watch his videos doing that because I wanna watch the, the episode myself. Here, fit check, because I got a new shirt. It is a shirt, I am wearing these. These are my favorite shorts ever in the entire universe, ever in the whole world. Also, this looks way more neon on camera. These are just red. <laughs> I don't know why they look neon on my stream. I think it's because I just did the saturation, so all of my, like, my colors are much brighter. These are red. <laughs> I don't know why they look like this. They look orangey pink, but you know, it is what it is. And it has like a little, a little lace back. It's really cute. I like it. I got it. <laughs> they are also strawberries and little flowers. Anyway, I'm putting this back on because even in such a tiny outfit, it is very warm today. What happened to your wrist? Oh, remember when I went on that whole rant about how my cat is trained so incredibly well, and she is, um, that she's not had an incident of scratching me in literally since she was a kitten? Oops, <laughs> oops, it happened. In my defense, or in her defense, it wasn't because we were playing, it was just an accident. Accidents happen. Right, baby bean, you'd never want to hurt me. That's my cat. <laughs> that's my cat. Sometimes cats just accidentally hurt you. Like when they jump and then fall, that's the worst. She would have incidents, mostly as a kitten, um, because as a kitten, she did jump on me a lot more than she does as an adult. But as a kitten, she'd jump to climb up onto my lap, but she was too small. So you know what they do? They climb up your leg, up your thigh. And then sometimes in their process of doing that or just jumping up while you're standing, uh, they start to fall. And you know what they do when they're falling? They claw in to hold and they'll do it on your legs. So if anyone ever is thinking about getting a kitten, 100% um, 
factually it is going to happen to you. <laughs> so be prepared for this incident where you have just claw marks down your thigh. Cat scratch is hurt though too, something different. They like, they sting and burn. I don't know, cat scratches are awful and they suck. Um, Cause it's not like a regular scratch. And, and you make sure you clean those. These guys feet, it's constantly in sand that they pee and poop in. So put on some Neosporin every time you get a little cat scratch. I did not do that. I just realized right now, but I'm probably fine. <laughs> Minty Kitty, thank you for subscribing. Willow Wolf, thank you for subscribing. Marshroom, thank you for a year. Black Coyote, thank you for the prime. Claire M, thank you for subbing. Uh, that's all from today so far. Hello, hello, hello. You know what I didn't end up doing last night is finish the house, but I'm gonna finish it tomorrow, I think, on my day off. I'm just gonna build the back of the house, but instead I went bowling yesterday. I went bowling and it was fun. I went bowling is my favorite thing in the world to do because you know what I was in high school. I was a varsity bowler. I was on the bowling varsity team. I did not get a jacket. I thought that I'd get bullied <laughs> and I just simply couldn't go through that again. Uh, Feisty Fox, thank you for subscribing. Bring her up front. We need a wave from the queen. I will not disturb this one. Uh, I did already get a scratch, so I don't think <laughs> I don't think I want to do Oh, and she hated when I tried to dangle, yes uh, dangle her yesterday, the dangle test. You know the dangle test of cats from TikTok? Uh, I tried that and she's a little bit too big and chunky and I kind of had a, ba a bad grip. She did not enjoy the dangle test and did not, I mean, she kind of did dangle though. I gotta get that clip. Does anyone have that clip? Cause she did kind of drop her legs, but she made the saddest meow that she barely could even squeak out. <laughs> she doesn't like being picked up like that under the arms. I think because she is a bit bigger and a little bit of a large cat and a little heavy and it's hard to get a grip around in that spot under their armpits. I don't think I'm strong enough even. Uh, she does not like it. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna not do that again. She'll let me, she doesn't like being held. That's honestly the whole problem. She doesn't mind me holding her like a baby for two seconds and she doesn't mind me having her sit on my lap um, for a short period of time. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna watch this new episode of The Button on the YouTube channel, Cut, where you can, as it says in the title, terminate your date with one click of The Button. They bring in from a room of, one of the guys who was on this show actually replied to my one video that I put on my second channel to say that none of it is staged because I didn't know if they staged the fact that a whole man came in his furry suit, which is fine. But I just really wanted to know if they asked him to do that. And also the way that they always work out perfectly to make like a seven to 10 minute video every time and people don't vibe the first one. I was like, are you staging and like setting these up in a particular order or what's going on? And one of the guys who was on the show, uh, he was like, no, we don't stage anything. They just have a room of men and a room of women and they just pull us out one at a time. <laughs> um, and I think that is why, so you can't hear the answers of people that have gone before you, but on one of the ones we watched, the guy, like they were, they had a vendetta against the girl, the guys in their room. And they were like, we, the guy just buttoned to get her out because they, they were talking about it. And I was like, how do they know that though? Because they kept pulling men out. So they knew a woman would just kept hitting the button over and over again. And that's how they knew to be like, we got it. She's just hitting the button on all of us. We got to get her out. So not staged. Good to know. But they always seem to ask questions that like they kind of know some information on. So I do think they do like applications where they ask you a few different things. Um, and I still believe they maybe asked the guy who was a furry to do it in his furry suit rather than just as a regular person. And he weeded out the people who were not into it really fast. And that's probably a good thing. Um, so let's watch the new episode of The Button. I, did, I skipped the little intro part that kind of spoils some of the funny things that might happen, but we have a cat hair on my lip. Please don't do that. Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up like the red, music. either do, player do, do, may do, press do. it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can- The Button has a weird date voice too and asks minutes, the most out of pocket questions. Second date. This is The Button. Hello. <laughs> the date has- That's a cool fit. 
<laughs> a cheetah vest with green trim and red pants. I love yeah. that. How about you introduce yourselves? Who is the button this time? This is not the same person as the last time. Who are you? And this time they actually sound like a little kid. I don't know how I feel about this voice of the button this time. I was just working on that button. <clears throat> my, name, my name's Evan. My name's Hannah. Hannah doesn't wash too. her bed sheets very often. See, how does he know that? And also, what kind of question are you asking where the answer is that I don't wash my bed sheets that often? <laughs> what was the question that that was the answer to? It's kind of off topic. <laughs> Thanks, Martin. <laughs> Girl, wash your bed sheets. Weeks? Maybe like a month. I'm guilty. <laughs> you should wash them every week. Uh, but that's like really high maintenance kind of stuff for when I'm in a period of time where I can't handle something that high maintenance. Nope, it's maybe every other week, maybe once a month. Sometimes you get in those routines. These are newly washed though because I have been good about washing my sheets. Um... You know what is a little bit of a cheat that I just thought of though? I always sleep on the same side of the bed, which means the other half of my bed is completely clean sheets, which means you get like double, <laughs> double the use out of your sheets if you switch sides, <laughs> if you have your own big bed. Genius, and then flip it inside out. Works with underwear too, I hear. <laughs> don't do it, don't please don't do that. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> and how frequently do you? How often does he wash his? Cause you know what? <laughs> if he's judging for once a month, when do you wash them, hmm? Wash your bed sheets. Have I you ever? I feel like it's every two weeks. I thought that was kind of long, but good for you. <laughs> good for you, actually. Good job. <laughs> too clean for her, though. <laughs> too clean for her. You're you're too well put together, maybe. Too well adjusted. <laughs> Sorry, Evan. You are eliminated. <laughs> he would have washed your bed sheets for you, though. Anna, why did you reject him? I just like the button sounds too human. I don't like that. Do you? Is anyone? Does anyone agree? We're the, vo the voice changer is on a little too low. I don't know if anyone in the back is aware, but that was a little too human sounding. I didn't feel attracted to him, I guess. Hi, I love your hair. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, her hair is bright. I like to play volleyball. Hey, you get a color that bright. Really? Yeah, What's your I position? Volleyball queens. Okay. Um, I was in the back where I was a hitter. Is volleyball a gay sport? <sighs> Okay, I mean. <laughs> also, it does just sound like a human. I feel like there's hardly a voice changer on that button this time. That was just a genuine question from a woman in the back who is like, should I get into volleyball? But like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is volleyball a gay sport? Don't get me started on softball. Yes, the spandex, <laughs> the spandex, that's what got us. <laughs> I'm also joking a little bit. I was on the softball team. Also, I loved volleyball. I was on the volleyball team too. Um, because both are just objectively fun sports. And volleyball is continues to be fun. I would not be interested in playing softball or baseball of any kind at this point. The running part seems like a lot of work, but volleyball remains truly a really, really, really fun sport. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't help that I am LGBT, so this does not help the case, but... Are you attracted to each other? Mm -mm. Yeah, I think you're cute. You think cute? Ah! Wait, how is this? The video is not even close to over. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Are they gonna just start over because it ended too soon? Am I gonna eat my words that I thought it was rigged because they always end or have enough time to make a 10 minute video? <laughs> I think you're like hot. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Which is like intimidating me. <laughs> oh, it's okay. What are you two looking for in a partner? Like friend first. That's just a little kid. That's just somebody's kid in the back. There's no voice changer. And it's just, there's a cat here. What? Got him. And there's just somebody's kid in the back asking these questions. <laughs> and like someone you can lean on, like definitely more like emotional. Yeah. Like side of things first. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I'm actually a sex worker, so like oh. I am a sexual person. So like mm -hmm. I can if I wanted to like just have sex with someone I could, but I want like I was cool with everything that was being said, but the last thing was a little weird, right? <laughs> that one was a little bit like 
That was not a weird thing to mention about that, but okay. <gasps> Listen. Listen. If, if something that somebody does is going to affect how you would be in a relationship with them, what you cannot do is tell them to stop doing the thing that they do if they don't want to. And then there's, maybe that means you just don't work out. Man, I was rooting for it, though. Man, if you're going to be uncomfortable with a certain thing that somebody does for a job and it's out of, out of the question for them to stop doing that job because you cannot ask someone to stop doing the thing. You can't tell people what to do. But if you're uncomfortable, then, hey, maybe that doesn't work for you. Oh, but I wanted it to so badly. <laughs> I wanted it to work. You got better people out there for each of you. And uh, I hope somebody comes along for her. Sorry, Sapphire. <laughs> it's okay. You're Sapphire, but you're pink, though. All of you is pink. She's emitting pink. Her aura is pink. That's kind of a sick name, though. <laughs> Hannah, if I was what? named Sapphire, would I also avoid and hate the color blue? I wonder if she has, like, a vendetta against the color blue because of... I, you never know. <laughs> it kind of caught me off guard that she was a sex worker and she kind of like intimidated me and that, that was she so intimidated great. me too yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we're they were both brother. queens and Hello. she's valid right. pinks oh she's a pink we're going. so it's beautiful when was the last time you two had sex i don't think that these are questions that are gonna really get you to to get to know the other person to know if you'd want to go on a second date Maybe that's just me, but I don't think this is helping. <laughs> I don't think this is helpful. <laughs> a week ago? Damn. It's just like a hookup? No, uh, somebody that had been seen casually for a little while. Are you Patrick, are you Polly? I was about to say, why are you here? <laughs> what are you doing here? I am, yes. Oh, well. Oh. Yes. Okay, have uh, you like been in a polyamorous relationship before? I, uh, this is my first. Oh, I've never seen someone actually hit it at the, that could have gone white at any minute. She just barely caught that. It was totally gonna change. I mean, if she wasn't comfortable with the last thing, this might also be a thing that wouldn't be comfortable for her. Get her someone she'd be comfortable with. For the love of God, I wanna see her happy. And this is your last. Bye, yep. Patrick. Why did you reject him? The polyamorous kind of like... What is his voice? Put me off, I guess. Listen, I mean, just stop doing this to her. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. I love your hair. hair is cool. Thank you. I love your makeup, too. Thank you. The green, favorite color. It's my favorite. It's my favorite okay. color. Yeah. I, I don't think my heart can take it if this one doesn't work out either. And we're still only halfway through the video. And uh, at this point, I only want this to be a dating show for her. I don't remember anyone's names. Um, not interested in anybody else hitting the button anymore. I just want her to find somebody. That's all that this video can be at this point. And if she gets buttoned, I will riot. I love the color green. So, yeah. so anyway, what, why are you up here? I go to school here. What do you study? Graphic design. So do I. You're kidding. I said <laughs> graphic design. If anything, they're best friends now, for sure. <laughs> you both have so much in common. I mean, yes, green and graphic design, my two personalities. They look so cute, too. <gasps> oh, that broke my heart. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> no. Which, oh. That she was so nice about it, too, to be like, she kind of like hesitated. She didn't want to make it seem rude or go in too fast. And she kind of... She paused, and then and then the other girl was like, I saw that, and then she went and hit it. They kind of hit it at the same time, too. Who do you think got it? I think on the left, I think they got it first, but I don't know who got If they both get kicked out because they actually hit it at the same time. <gasps> oh, no. Sorry, Hannah. Sorry. You were eliminated. <laughs> you were so nice. Man, this one's brutal. My heart is broken. It actually, I felt it shatter in the second that, not even when she hit the button, but when I saw her move. I could see it in her eyes, honestly, a second before that even happened. Shattered. 
Um, loved meeting you. You're amazing. Yes. You had so much. I like her jewelry. I know. I just wasn't I like feeling her the spark. And then also, if I'm being best friends, though, right? Please say best friends. Honest. Uh, some of the people before were just like she buzzed them out really fast, and I don't know. That's a weird thing to hold over somebody when you don't know what the conversation even was about. I don't. That's a. That's not a good reason, but okay. I guess I that's that fine. Vibe. I don't know. I feel bad. Listen, you got a bad <laughs> vibe. You? I mean, yeah, I mean, my There's gender, I see myself as like now. a green orb in my mind. So I feel like a button works just as good. <laughs> I love that. Why does the button come in here and keep trying to steal the contestants? Whoever's in that room, it's always a different person too. Why don't you just be on the show instead of being the button? But I do, I do fear AI a, a lot. Okay, Same. rude. <laughs> Let's bring in the next day. Hey. You can't say that when you sound Healy. so human. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Did she just say what I think she said? Did he just walk in with, I think, what he walked in with? Hello, Heelys. I wanna know how immediately she knew that. Did he wheelie in? Did he literally glide in? Uh, Cause if he walked in wearing Heelys, there's no way you'd know they're Heelys unless he legitimately just wheeled into the room on his Heelys, which that's a, that's a power move for going on a date and heeling into the chair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he uh, just wheeled name? up to his date on Heelys. Nice. I'm Pi. Pi? Mm -hmm. What's your handshake? Handshake, yeah. Nice to meet what you. What are Heelys? Are you at? Button doesn't know anything. Button, okay. Yeah. You want to take this one? Because either the button is actually still a child, which would be weird, um, or it's just a joke that it's a robot, so it doesn't know what these things are. But you, it sounds too human this time. I can't stop hearing just a person. It just sounds like a person. And also a child. I mean, you're wearing them. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Heelys are shoes that have um, wheels mm -hmm. in them. So we <laughs> The embarrassment of having to explain what just happened because you wheeled into the room on your adult-sized Heelys, which I want. <laughs> I kind of want to get a pair. Would you consider yourself? I wasn't allowed to have Heelys as a kid because my mom said that they would be too dangerous because it's essentially the same thing as rolling around with roller skates, but not needing to have like, I would always, I, always, I had to wear a helmet. I had to wear knee pads. Um, and I never broke a bone, but I also never got Heelys. Self a skater. <sighs> I would consider myself a- I want to start the question over. I didn't even hear it. Self a skater. Nope, I cut it off still. In them. Mm -hmm. So would you consider yourself a skater? <sighs> I would consider myself an ex skater. Is it because the wheels aren't there? It's because, what? oh, on the Heelys right now? Oh yeah. You know what? Oh, this just opened. The wheels aren't on. How did she know he was wearing? How don't they look like regular shoes? Don't they? Don't Heelys, when you don't wheel on them, just look like Converse or sneakers? He's not even, he didn't wheel in. He didn't even wheel in. How'd she know they were Heelys? Did they like click against the floor where the like metal part is you connect the wheel at? I have to see, I have to see what Heelys look like without the wheels in. Like, what do their adult shoes look like? Would you really just recognize the design of a Heely shoe without the wheels on it? I don't think I would. She's a Heely expert. She knows. She's looked them up. She's shopped around. She's got her own pair at home. She should have wore them at home. <laughs> I don't know why I said that weird. Um, I, I guess, okay, some of them say Heely on them. And I guess if he's wearing one of the ones that literally says Healy and she could read it from across the room, which is also impressive, or she just literally knows the designs. The men's Healy's have so many designs. <laughs> I would never be able to know every Healy design or even any of them. This one's just a white shoe. This one's just like, they look like skater shoes. They have, they have SpongeBob patterns, if anyone's interested. They have light up ones as well for adults, just saying. <laughs> They're sold out though, because they are a hot item at Heelys, apparently. Okay, so he didn't even wheel in. She just knows what Heelys look like. All of them. The men's ones, too. What? <gasps> Wait, go back. Skater? I would consider myself an ex-skater. Is it because the, the wheels aren't there? It's because, what? oh, on the Heelys right now? Oh, yeah. You know what? You can't. I wasn't... She made a joke! She made a joke! She said, do you consider yourself a, a, a skater? And he said, I'm an ex-skater. And she said, is it because you don't have the wheels on right now? Ex-skater, because you're wearing Heelys without the wheels. It was a joke. <gasps> and it didn't even turn red. 
<laughs> saying that? Oh that. my god. Yeah, I didn't like that. Only when I. Why is he so offended by it? <laughs> there was a joke. It was a joke about his heels not having wheels. And so he doesn't skate anymore. It's funny. I light up red. Can you press me? Oh, it's... this is awkward. Oh. How, who didn't tell him that? Who actually let him on the show and he didn't know that? What? Did, how do you come here and not know that you're supposed to wait for the button to light up red? He was not paying attention when they were in the room explaining the rules. And now she has to beat him. That's it. She just simply has to hit the button first now. Oh no. Yeah, Shit. wow. Wow. Um, What's that like? so cringe. It I'm, is. I'm dying. And they're you know that they're purposefully not lighting it up red for them. They're gonna drag out the awkwardness forever. I just, okay, I'm just gonna hit the button. You can't do that. No, it's I'm still gonna, not red. I hit it now. Now, now we both want She has to hit it. Button. I mean, I I feel like it's only a matter of courtesy that he should just let her have the red light and hit the button and not even try because I'm just saying. I was vibing until you wanted to you make me leave, so. Well, shit. Um, what are you two looking for in a partner? Let's try and say <laughs> Not this. Yeah, yeah, Definitely yeah, not yeah. this. <laughs> um, basically, uh, I'm looking for a partner who understands he leaves. I do is what I'm saying. What do you mean interest? She said you're not wearing. She knew they were Heelys. Not only does she has to understand Heelys like ex 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 exceptionally well. I couldn't decide if I wanted exceptionally or especially in that moment. Uh, she knows them so well that she recognized they were Heelys when you walked in on them without he wheels in them. I'm offended by this entire conversation because it's over Heelys. You do? Okay. Yes. All right, cool. All right, I was cool. not making fun of you for the Heelys. Get it. Do you like the cure? Wait. <laughs> she gave him a chance to say anything and he didn't go for it anymore. He was like, oh, I d uh, oops. And then was down to still get to know her. And then he asked, do you like the cure? <laughs> and her face, <laughs> look at her face. Good for her. <laughs> Sorry, man. He really did try to come back because I think he did just genuinely misunderstand her joke and I don't know how. Also, I, it just sounded like she's making a joke about skaters and that's what he didn't like. That's what it sounded like it, he didn't like about it. Tim. It just seems I wonder like why. a certain type that has approached me before and made me not feel great. So I don't know. I don't blame her. I didn't feel great. <laughs> I hope they're not talking. Sh yeah, I also don't understand what the issue with the cure is. I'm just shit about me back there. Yeah, you've been here for a minute. A little bit, yeah. Oh, hi, I'm Leah. Leah, yeah. I'm Pi. Okay, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Leah is kind of famous on TikTok. Oh. Tell me, tell me about your, how many how many followers? Not you? that many. Not that many? Uh, just like 135,000. Not, not that, that many. many. It's not. <laughs> I said it at the same time as her. Not that many. Ooh. <laughs> what do you make? What do you She's do not gonna hit the button now. She knows uh. she's famous. Is it cringy? <laughs> like thirst traps, I guess. But it's like comedy, like comedic. I'd watch them. I, I want to see. <laughs> I want to go see. Yeah. Yeah. What What kind of dating things do you like to do? I'm, I'm like a big activity person. I like to be doing things. Yeah. I, I, well, I guess it's like a high and a low. Sometimes I just want to like stay in, take a nap together. Do nothing love, and then like, do all the take things. A nap with me. Yes, that's yeah. so sweet. Everything. I love that so much. I get why you've been here so long. You're very likable. Oh my God, thank you so yeah, much. It seems like the two of you really compliment each other well. I was going to say, I think you're super cool. So I think you're cool too. They're vibing. Yeah. Yeah. Where would you take pie on a second date? Like a picnic sounds really good. Yes. Pick something expensive, pick something expensive. It's all expenses paid second date. You can, they have, I don't know what the limitations are, but they say it, that it's all expenses paid second date. And if you're getting to choose what it is, pick something expensive. <laughs> don't go on a picnic, you can do that for free. That would be so lovely. Yeah. And maybe I could come? No. I don't know if we need you for the prompts anymore. Thank God, somebody finally shut the button down and said, shut up, we don't want your prompts. We don't want you on our second date. I'm gonna light up red one more time. I'll give you both one more chance to press the button. And if you don't, then I think we have a winner here. We're gonna be winners. I want to be a winner. I want to be a winner, and I yeah. also want to go on a second Yay! date with you. I like yeah. you too. I'm so glad we connected. Yes, yeah, same. Leah, Pi, 
Congratulations, you have won the button. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we win! Yay! We get to leave the button behind. Now go on that picnic. They better pick something more expensive. I really want to see proof of whatever these second all expenses paid dates look like. Is anyone else curious? I want to know what is, does this date look like? Where do you send them? I need to cut my bangs. I think they're too long. This is the problem I keep having. I think I need to see these dates. I need to see where you're sending these people to. I want to see how much you're actually splurging on this because you make it like a pretty important tagline to say all expenses paid. That's like the prize. It's the whole point. So I'd like to see that, please. For a second day, it's already paid for. Yeah, but what are they doing on it? I need to know. I need to know where they're going. Um, well, that was all of the new episode of The Button. Uh, it was good. It was awkward. There was a lot of secondhand embarrassment at times. And, but, you know, we all had a good time. And it ended up in a cute date. Which I would love if they brought back all of the people that have ever won The Button together. I want to see where they are now. I think that they should really consider this. I think they should maybe take my ideas and please give us all what we want, which is to see all of the people that have ever matched on the button come back and explain where they are now. Did they go on a third date? Are they still together? Button all stars. Well, that would imply a whole episode of button but with people that have won it before, but then it didn't work out because they're back to play again, but only with other people that played it. I don't know. I think I just want to see where they are now. Are they still together? Did they get married? Are they in love? Like these two, for example. I need to know. Where are they now? I'm going to read Am I the Assholes now <laughs> for a little while. Um, I am keeping today's stream a little bit short. I did a lot of streaming yesterday, and I do still have that house to finish, which I might work on after the end of the stream, which will be in about an hour. Uh, let's just read for a while. And I, I was on, uh, I was streaming yesterday for seven hours building on Minecraft, and I didn't even finish what I was building. And then I went bold, and everyone was like, you just streamed for seven hours? Am I, does no one else, does, I thought more people did that. Is that not what everyone does all the time, is just stream all day? What are you guys doing? You got other plans? You have hobbies that you're putting time into? Oh, I don't. Not me. <laughs> I'm on stream playing Minecraft for seven hours. And then I end stream to play Minecraft for five more hours. Well, I like doing long streams sometimes, especially because I know I take time off a lot of times, especially when I go to England. I know I just simply will not stream as often as I would like to or on my schedule as much as I do when I'm here in the States, but it is, you know, to be fair, it is my job. There's my cat. I'm gonna put a sweater on because now the air has made it cold, which I would prefer it stay cold. But I wear a sweater with it instead and keep it cold. Actually, I can make it a little colder if I'm putting a sweater on. And then we will read, Am I the Asshole? I wish I could help you conceptualize just quite how large she is. I don't know if you really can read that well whenever I've showed her. Okay, we are not playing Minecraft today. Today we are just doing chatting. Um, I did a lot of Minecraft yesterday. I almost said tomorrow. I did a lot of Minecraft yesterday, so I'm not gonna do any today. Um, just chatting today, and then Thursday, wait, I think I'm doing something fun on, on Thursday, hold on, not that every stream of mine isn't literally fun, never mind, Friday, me and H are playing a game on Friday together, so Thursday I might do Minecraft again, because we're going to be playing a non-Minecraft fun game on Friday with H, which is, let me Google it, Google it before I say it wrong, Dinkum? It's a life simulation game? 
I've never seen it before. He said it was kind of like Animal Crossing. Dinkum. And it looks cute. So we're going to play that on Friday. Um, that's going to be fun. I don't know what it is. I think it's role-playing and there might be some story. So this is going to be like our bi-weekly story game. Although I might play another one because I kind of feel like that's cheating. But Dinkum. Dinkum. And that's on Friday with H. That'll be fun. That's going to be so much fun. All right, let me pick uh, what looks to be potentially the most juicy and fun to read. Am I the asshole? It's spelled D-I-N-K-U-M. I don't know how you say it other than dinkum. <laughs> I don't know, but look it up. It's a good, it looks like Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, something of that kind of sorts. Am I the asshole for making my boyfriend eat fast food for a week? Oh, it's making him eat fast food for a week. I bet she didn't cook, and that's what he resorted to. Okay, I'm gonna read that one. Um, am I the asshole for being upset at my husband for what he got me for my birthday? Oh, no. The easiest thing in the world uh, in a partnership is to learn one thing about them, just minimally, that you know that they love, and all gifts are taken care of forever. Just get something relating to a thing that you absolutely know they love. It isn't that hard. Why do people have such a hard time with it? I know some people aren't like gift giving love language or, or all that, but you know, a little bit of effort goes a long way with just picking a thing that they like. <laughs> Anything from the thing they like. My mom got me just a necklace with Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. I hung it in my car on my rear mirror. She also, my sister, they all know I love Howl's Moving Castle and like Ghibli movies. My sister got me a tiny music box that plays. Hold on, this is awesome. I think I've played it before. This is also from How Howl, I think. Yeah, Howl's Moving Castle. Hold on. No, stop. It's a Howl's Moving Castle song. I didn't even know little music boxes with Ghibli theme songs existed. That's how easy it is to get a good gift for a person. <laughs> this is going to go for a while now. I don't... I'm just going to wait. There we go. <laughs> it's very good. Um, just pick a thing, anything, and buy a thing relating to that thing. You know what I mean? You get it. All right. We're going to read that. That sounds like fun. Um, oh, that doesn't sound fun to read. <laughs> Am I the asshole if I don't take just one of my children on holiday with me? That was like the opposite of another Am I the Asshole we read where the mother wanted to only take one child on holiday with them. This is like the opposite. Okay. Am I the asshole for taking my wife's side after she screamed and cursed at my mother? Oh, probably not. <laughs> you probably should be on her side. Okay, I'm going to start with that. Let's read that one. That sounds like fun. Oh, it's more mode. Okay. Am I the asshole for taking my wife's side after she screamed and cursed at my mother? What'd your mom do is the question. Um, on mobile throwaway, this just happened and my wife is currently sleeping while my mom is blowing up my phone. I, 33 male, am married to a wonderful wife, Melody, 29 female, and she's currently pregnant with our first child together. I have a six-year-old daughter, Tina, whose mother I split 50-50 custody with, so I have, for the most part, uh, what Melody needs in order to feel supported while she carries our child. Good. Good job. I've been spending lots of time making sure she's comfortable and taking on more of the load at home so she's not doing too much. This is her first child after all and it's obviously a lot for her physically and emotionally. So good. Literally easily already doing just exactly what you should be. My mother and Melody don't get along too well. Uh, mom didn't like my ex either. We broke up because we're headed on different paths, not because my mother, not because of my mother and there's no bad blood. So I think she doesn't like her because she's dating me for I think she just doesn't like her because she's dating me for whatever reason it's weird she's very nitpicky about melody how much she does around the house how emotional she is melody already cries very easily and being pregnant has made her even more sensitive which is fine i'm right there with you melody i cry at just about anything and everything all of the time <laughs> 
does not mean somebody is too emotional. It just means that they are very sensitive to emotions. And sometimes the crying looks worse than it actually is. It's just an uncontrollable thing that can happen. And she's pregnant. Um, the fact that she wants to be a stay-at-home mom, it just seems like nothing Melody does is okay. Uh, I do, however, stand up for her and do not allow my mom to talk down to her. Good. You can't just let that slide, even if she's your mom. Today, before picking up my daughter from summer camp, Melody went to three different grocery stores to find rotisserie chicken. She's been talking about it since last night and really, really wanted one. That's a woman who's craving rotisserie chicken. You get her a damn rotisserie chicken. She sent me a picture message documenting her quest for the chicken and finally found it. My girl was happy. Rotisserie chicken is also a kind of comfort food for her, like spaghetti, because her mom used to make one of those when she was having a lazy day and didn't feel like cooking. You just go buy a rotisserie chicken. That was also my mom's go-to, and we all loved it. It was such a treat to get, like, a barbecue rotisserie chicken from the store and just pick at it. They're good. I need to do that. I used to do that all the time when I started living on my own, too, because that's, like, food for the week, and they're good, man. Um... She was planning on serving that with some other basic sides for dinner. Perfectly fine by me. She's still cooking dinner, also. Like a whole food. That's good. I mean. Um, she was planning... Oh, wait, I read that. My mother came by to see Tina and started yelling at Melody the chicken is bad for her and that she should not be eating that while pregnant. Melody said it's fine. She usually eats healthy and just wants this one thing she's craving. What's wrong with, roti What's wrong with rotisserie chicken? It's chicken. It's seasoned chicken. Honestly, I would even think that's like, kind of, well, do they put like a bunch of stuff in there that I don't know about? Because I thought that was even like a little bit of a healthy choice when you want to be lazy and also not get fast food or like bad food. It's chicken. What could possibly be wrong with it? Um, my mom went on about how unhealthy it was and she said she needs to eat something else. Do you even have to eat so healthy when you're pregnant? Like, aren't you allowed to just kind of eat? <laughs> I don't know the rules. Do you just eat mac and cheese and pizza and whatever you happen to have a craving for? Also, it's chicken. It's not even pizza or mac and cheese or fast food. She could be craving McDonald's right now, but she's craving a chicken, a whole chicken. Um, Melody said it's fine. She usually eats healthy and just wants this one thing she's craving. Oh, wait, I read that. Melody said no and went to the backyard to FaceTime her family out of state. When she came back, my mom had thrown out the food and ordered takeout, a salad for Melody and a pizza for everybody else. Are you supposed to eat like, that doesn't seem right. I don't really know what you need to do while you're pregnant when it comes to food, but I'm pretty sure you can have pizza. Old Skillful, thank you for gifting five subs. Also, a salad is not enough of a meal for a woman who's pregnant, right? Don't you need more food in general? You can't just slim down and just eat a little salad for your meals. She's eating for two. Something in there is sucking up all her protein just so she needs extra. This woman had a child and she does not know this. Okay. Um, Melody asked where the chicken was. My mother told her she needs to start being a responsible mother and eat correctly for the baby. I think she was and you're not with your salad. Uh... Melody screamed, oh, she... Melody screamed, what the fuck is wrong with you? She threw out her rotisserie chicken. Why are you always such a bitch to me? So this has been building up. I don't think Melody would have done this if she hadn't been absolutely and utterly just pushed to the brink at this point. She then started, oh, especially somebody who cries so easily. The people who are the people who cry very, very easily to things are not the people who yell. <laughs> I'm one of the people who cries really, 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 really easily. Um... Which means if someone was to yell at me, I would be crying. So we're not the ones who yell, which means she got pushed really far to be yelling. I'm just speculating here. Uh, she then started crying and called me home. I came back and asked my mother to, I, if I was to yell at somebody ever, I would be tearing also and just in tears crying while yelling. I don't think it would be possible to do the one without the other. I don't think I have ever yelled since I was like a child, which like kids just be screaming, you know. Cobra Stardust, thank you for gifting two subs. Okay. Um, 
I came back and asked my mother to leave after hearing her story and said she's not to come back until she apologizes for how she treated Melody. My mom went on about how I'm choosing another woman over her. You're damn right he is and he should be. Uh, but I, that's so weird when moms are like, I'm, I'm the number one woman in your life. Bitch, no, <laughs> not anymore, sorry. Is number two not enough? Also, can we stop making it a ranking in the first place? Can it just not be, he loves you both, but different ways? Truthfully. Um, but I just think enough is enough and Melody has reached her limit. She apologized to me for blowing up when Tina was in the house, uh, but I told her it's okay, things happen, Tina is okay, and I went to find her another chicken before the store closed. What a good husband, what a great husband, and a good dad. Checked on the daughter too, because I didn't even consider the fact the kid was somewhere in the house and just heard her mom scream, which probably doesn't happen often. Um, my dad thinks I'm right for taking Melody's side, but my brother thinks I should always defend mom. No. There are no things in this world, very few things in this world, that you just matter-of-factly black and white say, you just always do it. <laughs> you don't ask questions, you defend mom always. Definitely not. Moms, while being so special to us for being our mom, usually when they're, you know, good at it, <laughs> um, are also just people. They're just people. They're not, they're not superhumans. Although, you know, honestly, though, if we really get into it, kind of a little bit when they're moms uh, doing superhuman things, but also just people. My dad. OK, am I the asshole? Obviously not. Definitely not. I honestly, the fact that you're not even sure. Your brother, she can go to cry to your brother about it because he's also just sucking up to her. <laughs> One, my mom claimed it was the seasoning. Oh, I want to know what's wrong with the chicken. There are there are edits. My mom claimed. Oh, wait, I skipped the whole. Edit. Okay, not to be that guy, but I did not expect this to get so much attention. I woke up to so many notifications. I'm going to try and go through as many as I can. Uh, Melody loves all the kind messages from all of you, especially the mamas and soon-to-be mamas who get it. One, my mom claimed it was the seasonings and fat and grease that made the chicken bad for her. It's all BS, but that's what she claimed. Let the pregnant woman have a little bit of fat and seasoning? No. <laughs> Two, I do plan on having a sit down with both my parents and my brother with my mom. A lot of you have mentioned emotional incest. Ew, I never heard of that. Doesn't sound right. Which is creeping me out. Ew. <gasps> I can only imagine what that's about and I'll probably go Googling to find out what this like phenomenon is and I bet it's gonna make sense why it's called emotional incest. I'll talk to my dad first, then have a family meeting. A lot of you asked why I still would want my mom around and honestly, maybe I'm just weak and, but that's my mother. I hate this song that comes up in this Animal Crossing playlist. Hold on. <laughs> um, but I'm just weak and that's my mother. However, if she cannot learn to change and respect my family, then we will just have to go to go and see. No contact. It's hard, but it is what it is. Melody doesn't even want to completely cut her out. She just wants her to change as well. But I will protect Melody at all costs, and if that means cutting off my mom, then so be it. That's a good husband. Three! My ex and I did not break up because of my mother. He said that, though. We had different ideas of where our lives were going. Tina was not planned, and we were already heading towards going our separate ways before she got pregnant. We tried to make it work for Tina, but that's not what relationships are about. So we split, and it's working great. It's honestly so refreshing to read a story about two people in a relationship where the uh, fundamental problem is not their communication because they're both just simple, healthy adults, just actual healthy adults who talk to each other and the issues with his mom. That's a first. We never see just two people in a relationship actually doing well. <laughs> so that's very refreshing for this thread. Um, my ex and Melody have talked about my mother with each other before, and that was when I realized I needed to see a therapist to work through my childhood with a mom like mine. He's been to therapy about it. Wow, this is the best news. It's a process, I'm working through it the best I can. Four, some people have asked about our culture. We are all black Americans, so I think it's more of a mom-son thing than a cultural thing, okay? Five, not sure how to update. Someone please comment and let me know, but oh, they're gonna, oh, I'm gonna have to find out if they did an update. Five, no, that was five. Six, last one. 
Melody's pregnancy is going smoothly for the most part, but just exhausting and emotional, as she put it. Um, and we're having a girl. Uh, edit two. I did find her another chicken uh, after the whole fiasco. Thank you to everyone who recommended we get a Costco card so she won't have to go on another chicken quest. Uh, okay, let me see if they did an update. Old Skillful, thank you for gifting five subs. Thank you so much. I found chicken in my fridge. I've got frozen chicken in my freezer, but how long is that really good in the freezer? Uh, I don't think it's actually forever, but how long? Because it might not be good. Also, I have to like pry it from the drawers it's frozen to. Um, they did not do an update. Uh, yet, at least. They posted this yesterday, actually. Wow. Okay. Cool. Well, they're gonna be just fine. Honestly, the two of them. Uh, no doubt about that. Let's read Am I the Asshole if I don't take just one of my children on holiday with me? I think that you shouldn't be only just taking one of however many children you have. As long as it doesn't have frostbite. What if everything in my freezer is like covered in ice? Because that's just, is my freezer too cold? And what would happen if I ate chicken that did have frostbite on it? I'm just curious. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm just, what would happen <laughs> for science? Um, I probably should just get rid of it. I think it's a few months been in there for the, it thawed and then refroze. Oh. I don't know, I think my, my freezer just has like little frost on everything though. <laughs> I think just the texture would be weird. It would taste disgusting. Oh, but I wouldn't die. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> I just wanted to know if I would like actually get sick from it. I bought chicken, I'm gonna see if I can save it. I'm gonna try at the very least. <laughs> as long as I'm not gonna literally die. Okay, up to a year? I don't know about that one. I, I think I wouldn't eat chicken if it was in a freezer for a year. Maybe you'd be fine. I don't think it tastes good. Okay, am I the asshole? I keep finding cat hairs everywhere we... It's about as smart as eating rotten egg. I don't think that's true. Cause if I, I think eating too frozen, like chicken that's been frozen for too long, you wouldn't get sick. But I think that if you ate a rotten egg, you would get sick. I think you'd get sick from that. I don't think frozen chicken that was just frozen for too long would make you sick, but probably just wouldn't taste good. Rotten egg sounds like you'd get sick. <laughs> um, you can't get sick from it? Oh, well. You can get sick from everything. <laughs> I still do it anyway. Uh, okay, am I the asshole if I, did, uh, if I don't take just one of my children on holiday with me? Hear me out first. I already was on your side, I don't even have to. Okay, I have a young daughter, 10, who had Wait, is this? I'm confused. Okay. I'm just skimming it because this isn't, I feel like it's written in a way to defend taking just one children, child, but the title says you're not taking just one child. And I, I want to make sure this isn't just like a lame one to read. Um... Oh, uh, you know what? This one's not even actually a good one. I thought it'd be like a fun kind of juicy read. It wasn't. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on. Am I the asshole for making making my boyfriend eat fast food for a week? My boyfriend grew up in a house that valued outdated gender norms. The women were always responsible for cooking and cleaning. Ugh. And he didn't learn how to do any of that for most of his life. That is until he moved in with me after college. You, these are just skills all adults need to learn at some point. You gotta stop relying on someone to do it for you. That's just like weak. <laughs> uh, he's been good about a few things. Although, you know what? Cooking, I get that some people just are bad at it. Although it is pretty easy. <laughs> it is not hard, you just follow instructions. But for some people in partnership, someone doing the cooking can work in that dynamic. But you, eventually you gotta learn how to do something. A few meals that aren't like fast food, you know what I mean? You can learn a couple of things. Spaghetti's easy. Make some meatballs. Buy a rotisserie chicken. That's a cheat, you don't have to even cook it. Um, 
He's been good about a few things. He doesn't mind helping with dishes. Oh, I already hate how this is phrased. He doesn't mind helping with dishes. He better not. <laughs> he better be volunteering and not even needing to be asked and just is a thing that he knows is a thing. Adults do is just clean and wash the dishes. He doesn't mind helping with the dishes. As if minding helping with the dishes was an option. <laughs> That'd be a problem. Uh, or handling the laundry. But the one thing I can't seem to get him to do is learn how to cook. The only thing he can do is microwave frozen meals. I've been trying to teach him the basics, but it seems like it goes through one ear and just comes out the other. He still can't turn on the oven. Oh my God, come on. <laughs> Sorry, or use the stove without help. Um, I get it when there are people who are not good at cooking. I do honestly get it. And it's something that not everyone, even if they understand how to do it and can make basic things, a lot of people, there are people that just don't enjoy it. And, some, and there are people that very much do. So sometimes that dynamic is absolutely okay for people, but you don't know how to use the stove without supervision. She didn't put how old he is, but he's at least out of college. You don't know how to use the oven. <laughs> the toaster is too complicated for him to use, he claims. The toaster is too complicated. You put a slice of bread in and push the button down. Just make sure the knob is not all the way. What would you ever put in a toaster and turn it all the way, by the way? Why is there even, why does it go that far? What would you ever put in there? That would be the knob turned, cranked all the way. You just put it in the middle, usually. Like sometimes I lean it a little bit to the left, but usually dead center works for most stuff. It's the easiest kitchen appliance, I'd argue, of any kitchen appliance. Name an easier kitchen appliance than the toaster. Okay, <laughs> the fridge. <laughs> he still can't turn, oh, uh, no. Doesn't know how to boil eggs. I'll defend him on that. Also, or cook rice. I don't know how to, I know how to do those two things, but I always manage to mess it up somehow. Um, I have an egg cooker legitimately because I can't ever consistently get boiled eggs, like hard boiled eggs, right? I Google and I follow the instructions. I don't know, something just always constantly goes wrong. So I got an egg cooker. That this is what you do as a full grown adult when you don't know how to do something. That's just like an essential thing to learn how to do. Buy an appliance that does it for you instead. Rice cooker, that'll help you too. I got individual serving size bags of rice that you boil on the stove. In, and they just tell you what to do. Uh, Cause I don't know how to cook rice either without a rice cooker or very blatant instructions. I messed that one up a lot. So I'll defend them on those two, but you find a way. Or even how to measure out ingredients using cups. Can he read? <laughs> he doesn't know how to use measuring cups. Has he never? All you have to do is see someone do it one time. You don't even have to do that. It's a spoon that you fill to the brim. That's it. What else would you do with the spoon, do you think? If you handed him a measuring cup, would he just not know what to do next? How? He can use the microwave. Oh yeah, that I guess is an easier appliance for him than the toaster. I feel like that was too loud. I feel like the toaster is an easier appliance than the microwave though. There's a line where like, I'll understand some, some people not knowing how to do certain things. Um, he crossed it with not knowing how to use the toaster. <laughs> They're saying it's too complicated. I just don't understand why he can't grasp this but is fine with other things. Here's the part where I may be an asshole. I went on a trip two weeks ago for work. I'm in charge of buying groceries. We have separate accounts. And I realized how expensive his frozen meals actually are. Three to $400 for each. I don't know where I put the hundred in there from. Uh, three to $4 for each. I think I assumed it was like, I get frozen meals. I get really healthy frozen meals that I'll have once a day as a dinner and then I cook for the other meals. It's just really easy and they're really healthy and lean and I cook them on the stove or in the oven. I never microwave them because I think they're bad. Any frozen meal is not good in the microwave. You could put the whole thing in like little bowls and put them like, or on the stove. You can cook them in better ways. Toaster oven also, great. Um, okay, they're three to $4 each, honestly. I don't know how many you're buying. That's less than why I pay for each of mine, <laughs> honestly. And I realized how expensive is frozen. Oh, shoot, I keep going one line up. I said screw it and bought the easiest ingredients I could find for a lot cheaper. 
for him to cook. I, if you're on a budget, that's definitely, buying ingredients to food is always gonna be cheaper than buying pre-prepared meals. Um, he doesn't like leftovers. Oh my God. He doesn't like leftovers, so me cooking ahead for him was out. He won't even eat f old food, like from yesterday? I didn't have an option. As a kid, if my mom, she's always making enough food for five people sitting at our dinner table. There's always more left over because that's hard to measure exactly perfectly. And at the end of every single week was leftover night. You ate whatever was in the fridge. You could pick whichever thing that you want, but you're on your own if you don't want any of the leftovers. You figure something else out. That's what my mom would say. You can f find something else to make from the cabinets like soup can or ramen or make some eggs or pasta for yourself. But leftover night, you eat something from the fridge or you make something else of your own yourself. Also, who's, who's gonna be wasting that food that is still good? For a few days after you've made it, it was good day one. It's still good day two and day three. Um, okay. He doesn't like leftovers, so she can't even cook ahead for him, which I wouldn't have even... That's already doing too much. Um, before I left, I sat him down once again and gave him a very long lesson on using the oven, the toaster, and the stove, as well as how to boil and scramble eggs, toast a piece of toast, boil rice noodles, and heat up pasta sauce. Pasta sauce you even can put in the microwave and would be fine. I also taught him how to pan fry things like onions and other veggies uh, and how to tell when they were ready. These are all very, very easy to do. I get that it might get to be like a little bit overwhelming when you get to the pan frying stuff. It is very easy. In fact, pan fried, fried egg, if you don't know how to boil an egg or scramble, frying an egg is really, really easy to do too. Scramble's the easiest though. He should be fine doing that. Although I've heard that there are people that make their eggs in the microwave and I don't know what you're doing, but that needs to stop, I think. <laughs> How do you make eggs? And in the microwave. I don't know. What kind of egg do you end up with? I don't know, I just know people do that. And it's like, what, did you scramble in the microwave it? Or are you putting a whole egg in there? I don't understand how you do that. Anyway. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. In case he didn't want to cook both lunch and dinner, I also bought things to make salads and fixings for sandwiches. That's also just always will be in my fridge. And it's the easiest thing that you could ever manage to do for yourself and another person, make a sandwich. You know how easy it is to make that like nice too? And not just like a shitty lunch sandwich like you'd get in school. Um, learn how to use that toaster. Toast the bread a little bit. Make some bacon, make a BLT. Sandwiches, quality food, easy to do. So many ways you can do it. Melt the cheese, put the bread and the cheese on a tray and put it in the oven to make a little melted cheese, make a grilled cheese on, on a pan. You could also melt cheese and toast on a pan too. Pastrami sandwiches, put the pastrami on the bread with the cheese and then put all of that shit in the oven. I'm gonna need to do that. You can really make sandwiches nice and good. So sandwiches is a really nice alternative, just easy thing to do. I come back a week later and he's, wait, she said for two weeks, but she came back a week later uh, and he's angry. Did you not speak to him the whole time? The fact that he didn't say anything until you got home also is a little bit weird. Weird communication moment there. I don't know what's up that. He claims I practically left him to starve and now I know he has trouble cooking. I retaliated saying I showed him what to do and I get a whole range of excuses. Setting the oven stove temperature is too complicated. He cut his finger chopping onions and couldn't chop anymore until his cut healed. He cut his finger when he was chopping onions. <laughs> he only likes salad kits, so everything is balanced. So he couldn't possibly balance things out for himself, apparently, either, because he doesn't know how to use a measuring cup. Um, apparently, he only ate sandwiches and canned goods and fast food for a week. You know what also very easily can get you by for a week and not be bad? Is sandwiches and canned soup. 
like a dead ass just make a sandwich make a grilled cheese and a tomato soup that's not even a bad situation to be in at all for one week <laughs> and fast food i would skip the fast food because i would maybe do that one of the days of the week but also you're you have this thing called self-control <laughs> and you can order food from other places that aren't fast food places I don't know what the budget's like, but you can definitely get a meal from a place that isn't McDonald's for maybe just a little bit more money, like a few dollars. I go to Panera Bread. That's my personal choice of like inexpensive. Although I guess it's more salads and sandwiches and soup. But uh, apparently he only, <laughs> uh, he thinks I'm a major asshole for not telling him I'm not buying his frozen meals and leaving him alone to fend for himself. I thought she did tell him because she explained how to cook to him before she left. Um, on one hand, I do think it was shitty of me to not tell him. Oh, she didn't tell him. She was teaching him how to cook before she left and then left and didn't tell him. By the way, also, I'm teaching you this because I didn't buy your meals. I mean, it should not have been that big of a deal, though. Um, I do think it was shitty of me to not tell him I didn't buy his meals. And as someone who grew up in a home pretty much only boiled hot dogs and veggies and only properly learned how to cook after moving out, there's a comma after moving between out. That's weird. I do feel for him, but at the same time, after a few months of not getting the simplest concepts, I'm left feeling partially justified in my actions. So Reddit, am I the asshole? No. Should you have told him? Honestly, it makes sense why he didn't say anything before she left, but also he didn't say anything while she was gone for a week. Did they not speak to each other? He waited till she came home to be like, by the way, how dare you leave me without sustenance in the form of only frozen meals also honestly being left for a single week it was supposed to be two ended up only being one uh sandwiches soup and fast food for one week you're not gonna nothing bad is gonna happen if you have one week of eating like that straight people eat like that all the time and are a lot of the times just fine um, <laughs> he couldn't make a salad because he said he only eats pre like kit salad kits because everything's measured out and balanced, which I guess he just can't do for himself because he doesn't know how to measure things. And also, I don't know, can't eyeball it either. Just do a handful of um, whatever you're putting in your salad, handful of alternate vegetable vegetables besides the leaf that you choose, whatever leaf of your choice. Why didn't he buy the meals? I didn't even think of that. Is he incapable of just leaving the house and buying the meals that he wanted with his own money? Because she does the grocery shopping from her own account, which means he's not paying for any of the food she's making for him either, ever. That's not a good arrangement at all. That's not good. This guy sucks. <laughs> Throw him out. <laughs> um. Somebody said, info, why are you with some guy who can't manage to use a toaster in the first place? And somebody else said, I'm much more concerned with the inability to measure something in a cup. It sounds like, to me, just a lot of excuses for some to, to get out of doing something he just doesn't want to do. Like he, he can just say that. I just don't want to. And then go buy your own meals then at that point if you just don't want to but the oven's too complicated, the toaster's too complicated, measuring cups are too complicated. I don't believe it, honestly. That's just an excuse. He just doesn't want to, <laughs> is the truth, I think. And he likes the situation he's in where his girlfriend is making the food all the time or buying his frozen meals, which sounds like a shit person to me that is taking advantage. Um of a nice lady and a nice situation, but at some point you have to learn the absolute bare minimum of how to feed yourself. The toaster? The toaster. There's so many things you can do if you just simply know the toaster. And then the stove and the oven and won't measure out his own ingredients. For I think he's just excuses. I don't think any of this is true that he doesn't, it's too complicated. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, somebody said, weaponized incompetence. 
Oh, this is exactly what I just said. This commenter said, weaponized incompetence. Anyone can use a toaster. Boyfriend wants OP to cook for him forever. Not the asshole. You are not responsible for your boyfriend's food. Oh, so she's paying for it. I didn't even realize that, that she mentioned explicitly separate accounts and she does the grocery shopping. So she's paying for the, the food. Uh, please consider if you want to be his free live-in cook. Also, nobody died from eating sandwiches for a week. Your boyfriend is manipulating, manipulating you into feeling guilty. He had, for one week, this was, has only been an issue for a single week. This isn't like a long-term issue that he has to suffer through. Sandwiches, canned food, and fast food for a single week is what he's angry and he did she say yelled where is it that um just angry and that oh also incredibly over dramatic saying that she left him to starve <laughs> he had he had sandwiches canned goods and fast food for one week and a fridge full of food that he could make if he learned how and he definitely knows how to use any kitchen appliance at all um Ah, uh, that's the truest thing I've heard. I think that's what it is. I think he knows. These aren't hard things. They're things he doesn't want to do. <laughs> um, and then somebody else said in reply to, I'm more concerned about the inability to measure something in a cup. I'll have you know, filling it to the line is more complicated than it looks. All right. Um... Oh, somebody else said, I didn't, I've never heard of this phrase before, but I guess this is a thing. This is the literal definition of weaponized incompetence. <laughs> Why are you with someone you have to parent? Some dynamics in some smaller areas can work where you trade what you give and what you take from a partner. This is not that. <laughs> um, she needs to sit him down looking deep in the eyes and tell him there are nearly 8 billion humans on planet Earth. Out of them, only one of those wants to be your mom. And that one should not be the person uh, you are, they said, having sex with. <laughs> True, though. There is one out there that wants to be your mom, but only one. No one else wants to do that for you. It's just a matter of also maturity that you just need to... Uh, everybody, all people, need to take care of themselves and know how to do that for the times that they will inevitably need to. Having a partner means that you take care of things together as a team a lot of times, which can be a lot easier to go through life that way. But that does not mean having someone be your mom for you. And you still need to know how to do these things sometimes. And just out of a kindness for your partner to do those things sometimes. You know, what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? I have the itchiest nose. So I think I have a cat hair in it now. You've done this to me, Star. Okay, uh, I'm gonna read one more. Am I the asshole for being upset at my husband for what he got me for my birthday? I'll say, just in defense, because this one today is a lot of um, boyfriends and husbands just not being good at what the only thing that they're, they need to be good at and just being bad people. There are a lot of times when it's the, the, the girls too, but today has just been a trend of bad husbands and bad boyfriends. My 39th birthday was last week. Months ago, I was talking with my mom about a part of our state that I love to visit, and she mentioned that she's never been there. I told her that we should go together sometime, and we started planning it. We ended up deciding on going there for my birthday. During the planning, we realized that my mom, my brother, and I had never been on a trip together, just the three of us, so we invited my brother too. My husband was fully supportive of us taking this trip and would be staying home with our three-year-old son and our dog. Before we left last week, my husband gave me the gifts he bought me for my birthday. He got me some comfy pajamas, a sun hat, and some good wine and cheese to bring with on the trip. Normally, I would be totally okay with that gift, as we don't really splurge on birthday gifts anymore. Okay. But he had been talking about getting me a smartwatch and new luggage for my trip ever since we started planning it. He knows I can be kind of picky about gifts, as I have exchanged some of the gifts he's got me in the past for different colors or options, which I think everybody needs to just be okay with. I know it can hurt to be like, oh man, I, they don't like the thing I picked. But it's okay 
because you did pick a good thing, but if they just want to pick a different color or it's the wrong size, it, you didn't you didn't completely mess up. It's okay. Just you know, it's a good job. You did okay. You did fine. Uh, but this time I told him just to pick something out for me, as I want those things for the trip. He offered to go, he offered instead to go shopping with me so that I can pick out exactly what I want because if I take them on the trip and don't like them, it's not likely I could return or exchange them. He's even sounding like he's cool with this situation. I thought that was a good idea, but life got busy and before I knew it was the week of our trip and we hadn't had a chance to go actually shopping together. So the time comes for us to leave and part of me was expecting my husband to surprise me with a new watch or weekend bag, but he didn't. I admit I was pretty disappointed that he didn't take the initiative to just get me those things on his own. I tried not to let it bother me during the trip but it was always kind of in the back of my mind. Okay. This one's a little bit nuanced, a, a tad. After we got back, I mentioned it to him that I was disappointed that he didn't get me the watch in the bag, like he said he would. He told me that he thought we had agreed to do it together. But I told him he knew how busy we were and it wouldn't have been much effort for him to just do it on his own. He got offended and told me that I just spent thousands of dollars on a nice relaxing trip with my family while he stayed home and took care of everything and I'm complaining about a watch and a bag. Hmm. I told him that he knew how much I was looking forward to having those items for my trip and I'm just disappointed that he didn't realize that and take the opportunity to do something special for me. He apologized for ruining my trip. They put quotes. But I know it wasn't sincere, and he's just telling me what he thinks I want to hear. I offered to go shopping with him sometime to pick them out, and he told me to just go do it myself. Okay, he's getting nasty now, but I don't think he was entirely in the wrong before. Um, now I feel like crap, and I know he's mad at me for being ungrateful for the things he did get me, uh, and for allowing me the opportunity to have a trip like that with my family. If I'm honest, I think she's a little bit of an asshole, but I think they also both suck a little bit. Just a little small amount that can be worked on and fixed with communication in their relationship because uh, I think there was one kind of fundamental issue that they didn't do together or just talk about. I think they both a little bit suck actually, but she kind of was an asshole because I think she's the one that didn't do something that he needed to do, but I here's what I think. Here's what I think. I think they both suck a little bit and they need to work on just a small tad of their communication in their relationship and what they want and need out of their partner. This can be fixed and remedied very easily. They're not both horrible people, but I do think they both suck a little. <laughs> and I think she wanted it to be a surprise. Well, I think what needed to happen was she needed to tell him because she want, she was expecting these things for the trip, like a bag for the trip. I don't know if she had an alternate bag. It was really old or like, I, I'm assuming she had some kind of a bag to use instead, but she wanted this bag for the trip. She needed to say that specifically to him that like, I know I'm not gonna have the time to go shopping with you. I'm okay with you picking something for me. I, uh, please do that for me. Cause I'd love to have these bags for the trip and the watch. Um, she wanted it to be done as a surprise is the problem, which is the part where they need to talk about that's something that she wants from him is surprise gifts that he thought of for her. But also knowing exactly when those need to happen is hard because you're, the point is to not have to say anything about it. So that's, that's what's tricky. Um, I don't think he should be so petty uh, afterwards saying, you can go do it yourself and not talking it out with her. But she also was a little bit of an asshole for expecting it, but not saying that she really wanted that. But I also get wanting to sometimes get things kind of sprung up on you with little surprise things. But that doesn't always work sometimes. Um, and you kind of just have to be okay with the when they don't and maybe just say the thing that you want. And also sometimes say, I would love if you did surprise things. This wasn't one of those times, I think, that you should have hoped for it to be a surprise if you really needed this bag for the trip. I think in that case, you should have just said, I'd love if you picked something and and surprise me with what you pick. It's still a surprise. You just know that he's gonna come, come up with something that is some kind of pattern of a bag or style, whatever. Um, so they can definitely fix this. 
it's really not a huge deal. Uh, if she really wants this, uh, surprises that bad, that's something she needs to bring up and be like, I really need this as like you thought of me when I didn't have to tell you to think of me. You know, that's kind of where that comes from, I think. Um, but this time, I don't think that was one of the times where that's appropriate. But I, I, I imagine that just is because it's not happening at all. And she wants it to happen sometimes. And this was like almost a little test to see, which I don't believe that we should be doing that to our partners. Um, I think that if you're concerned about something, you should say it rather than test it first. I don't think that's necessarily always true. I think sometimes if you, it's not ne ne me uh, necessarily a malicious, like trying to trap them situation. Sometimes when you like test to see how your partner would respond, I think it's always like a bad thing, but I'm not a fan of doing that personally. And uh, if you wanted a bag for the trip, this is definitely not the time to test the waters and see if he's gonna surprise you with a whole bag. <laughs> Maybe just ask for the bag. Yeah, okay, I wanna see what Reddit said, cause this one's not a very black and white situation, I don't think. I honestly don't think either of them are very much assholes even. I think they're just two people in a relationship that kind of like miss the mark on one little gift kind of a thing. That can totally be talked out. You just have to talk about it instead of the surprise of it, you know? She said they don't splurge on gifts, but she's mad that he didn't splurge on her. That started with him giving the idea to her that he wanted to buy her bags and a watch. It was his idea to buy an expensive gift. And he still even said he was going to still. That this is where he really didn't do anything too wrong. And she needs to say the things that she needs more clearly. And if she doesn't want to have to say things and wants them to just happen, that doesn't work. <laughs> it's nice to think about, but it doesn't work every time. So talk about the thing instead. But it was his idea to get expensive gifts. He wanted to do it. And he still plans to do it is the part that she's more the asshole, but they both kind of suck a little bit, but she's kind of being the asshole a little bit more um, because he is still gonna buy them. He never said he wasn't doing it anymore. He just was waiting for her to come back so they can still do the thing they had talked about doing together. That's as far as he knew they were still gonna buy them together. Um, they could have online shopped together. Also true, maybe they're not fans of that or they didn't know if it would come in time guaranteed or they wanted, I don't know. That, that That's not as much of an issue, but um, let's see what Reddit said. The first person said, you're the asshole because you set up a damned if you do and damned if you don't. I don't think she did it on purpose either. I don't think she's a bad person, but I agree. <laughs> there wasn't really a winning scenario for him and he did exactly what was communicated, which is we'll do it together just after you're back. Uh, the two of you had agreed to go together and pick out exactly what you want. Life got in the way of the plan. If he had done it on his own, there was a high likelihood that you had been upset it wasn't what you wanted, um, or that he had done it without you, because how could he know? How could he possibly know? Um, but I think, big speculation, me pretending to be a little therapist moment, I do think what she wants more in the relationship is gifts that she doesn't plan out with him or ask for that are like just a little surprise, like I was thinking, I saw this and I thought of you, this wasn't when it needed to happen, a surprise gift. I think that's just something she wants on, like, the side. And that's something that they need to talk about if that's true. In this one particular instance, that was not when you hope for a little surprise gift. You just ask for what you wanted. Um, yeah. This was no win for your husband no matter what he did, so he chose the better option of not wasting a lot of money on something you may not like. And it was the solution to that problem when it came up the first time even, so. He got a little petty at the end though. That's why I said they both suck a little bit. Um, and also it sounds like he doesn't do like just small, well, I, and this is, I'm making this up. Maybe it's not true, but maybe he's not doing little gestures occasionally throughout life to just be like a thought towards her to offer as like maybe someone who maybe is gift giver as like their love language and gift receiving, but that's also still something she needs to talk about with him. So I don't blame him still much if they haven't talked about that. You're the asshole. OP, how often is your husband walking on eggshells trying to meet your standards? <laughs> he sounds exhausted and like he's already used these no win scenario, used to these no win scenarios. Yeah, she might be worse than we know too. Uh, please, sh please check your behavior before you fall into a pattern of emotional abuse. I really thought we were going to be on her side at the beginning, being upset that my husband didn't get me what I wanted for my birthday. 
I thought he was going to get her just an actual bad gift that wasn't anything that she would ever want and he just didn't know her very well. I was thinking that's where that was going to go. Uh, why? <laughs> Tommy just messaged me. I will destroy you. What did I, what even happened? <laughs> Love my friends. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's a, but you know what? If she's not, I'm thinking, I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt of not being a horrible person. Um, <laughs> so. Well, <laughs> I might go find out what I did. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap up the stream a little bit. Uh, here, let me just go get the hugs and read all the subs and Great. Has spoken the truth. The least threatening. I would throw him. <laughs> I could throw him. He can't cook and doesn't like the email fit of one of men that can't cook. Just the toaster? Come on. Come on. All right. Um, Robin wants to go to space. Jeremy Pluff. Etta Brazel. And Vicky. Everyone bring it in for little hugs. Get your, get your little, little virtual hugs here. Thanks for hanging out today, dudes, and reading fun stories, watching a cut video, which I just do love to do. They just are so much fun. Um, I'm gonna have you guys read Jack because he's reading confessions and I think I really really want to do a stream like that soon Where I do the same thing that I did for assumptions I'll put up an Instagram story where you can answer the question of what are your confessions and they will remain anonymous For me no one but me will see the username attached and I'm not gonna Do anything with that ever so they will be completely anonymous confessions. I think that sounds so much fun So I'm gonna send you to him who is doing that right now Jack Manifold and then I'm gonna figure out when we're gonna play Phasmophobia next, because we were gonna do it with me, Jack, Scott, and Tommy uh, to give Tommy a shot at playing the game, because he's been doing scary games and watching scary movies. And he was in the original Phasmophobia group chat, so we're gonna see if he does want to finally play that with us. Um, but thank you guys for hanging out. Follow me here on Twitch. Follow me on, or subscribe to me on YouTube. Much appreciated. Lots of fun content, like what we did today on my second channel, to come. I only have one video out, but I am... That's the channel I'm getting an editor to help, help out with that one. Um, my VOD channel, where I upload shorts and just all of the VODs where we do this and games and fun things. Um, from all of streaming pa streaming's past. And... Um, my gaming channel, which is mostly just Minecraft, but really, really fun Minecraft, if you like Minecraft, and story, and lores, and cool characters, and D&D kind of vibes. Anyway, go read Jack, go bring the vibes, and I'll see you Thursday. I don't stream on Wednesdays. Goodbye, everyone!